Hello, welcome. I'm Josh London, uh, co-director for Government Affairs with the Zionist Organization of America in Washington, D.C. Uh, and like my colleague, Dan Pollack, I want to welcome you to this year's advocacy mission to Capitol Hill. I'm going to discuss with you today uh, the issue of stopping U.S. funding, U.S. aid to the Palestinian Authority. You should all have in your packets the talking sheets. All of my remarks are going to come from that. So familiarize yourself with the sheet. The ZOA is opposed to giving U.S. taxpayer dollars to the Palestinian Authority while they remain in non-compliance of the Oslo Accords and other written agreements. They have not fulfilled a single aspect of any of those commitments. We feel that they uh, must be put on watch, as it were, six months maximum allowance for them to come into full compliance. Otherwise, U.S. funding should be halted. Uh, enough of the game already. 20 years. Six months is what they should be given. The action items for House and Senate, as outlined again in the forms, is to urge both members of the House and Senate, there's no pending legislation at present, urge them to cut all funding to the PA unless they fulfill their Oslo uh, commitments, especially the need for the PA to stop promoting hatred and violence against Jews and to terminate their official alliance with Hamas. We have to urge members of the House and Senate to demand that the State Department enforce existing U.S. law and, quote, reduce the, the PA funding, quote, equivalent to the amount expended by the Palestinian Authority as payments for acts of terrorism, close quote. This is the money they give as benefits to the, those who perpetrate crimes sitting in Israeli security prisons and to the family members of those who perpetrate these crimes. As you know, it's a sliding scale, the greater the atrocity, the greater the financial reward, uh, officially by the Palestinian Authority. We have to urge Congress to cut that funding and be in compliance with the law, get the State Department to do it. Likewise, we want to urge Congress to comply with existing U.S. law and cut all funding to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, UNFCCC. They admitted Palestine as the 197th party to the UNFCCC. Like UNESCO, under U.S. law, that money to, to this body, UNFCCC, must be cut. We need to urge Congress to enforce U.S. law. For over 20 years, the Palestinian Arabs have not fulfilled any of their obligations under the Oslo Agreements and the various other peace accords. Nonetheless, the U.S. continues to fund them on average about $400 million a year. Total U.S. funding since 1994 exceeds $5 billion. This does not include UNRWA. This is just budgetary assistance to the Palestinian Authority and aid projects to the Palestinian Authority. No U.S. financial aid should be provided while the alliance with Hamas, a formal uh, explicit terrorist group whose charter calls for the destruction of Israel and the murder of every Jew, uh, Hamas is opposed to any political solution, uh, obviously, while that alliance maintains no funding, right? That's, that's U.S. law. That needs to be enforced. Likewise, the PA, Palestine Authority, and the PLO has further actively materially breached the various peace accords by unilaterally pursuing statehood recognition via the United Nations General Assembly, by seeking admission gained the International Criminal Court, the sole purpose of which is to pursue their claims internationally to further delegitimize Israel. These are unilateral actions expressly forbidden by all their various signed agreements, and therefore, as a material breach, all funding needs to be cut until this is reversed. PA promotes hatred and violence against Jews in Israel in the schools, media, public addresses, youth camps, again, Absolutely, such an assignment needs to be stopped. Israel's not shown on their maps, on, their, on their atlases and textbooks, etc. Again, we all know it's the same problem. It has been this way officially for 20 years of public taxpayer funded programming and policies by the Palestinian Authority. Their official Fatah ruling party emblem shows all of Israel covered by an Arab headdress of fear. Again, the laundry list, as I say, we know them all, but here nothing has changed. They've not made good on a single one of their commitments. The incitement continues, and the bottom line becomes we must urge Congress to finally do something, finally nip this in the bud. Thank you.